your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. What's up, everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, guys. And here we are back with another action figure review. All right, so today we're going to take a look at the mighty, mighty, mighty Thor! 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 <laughs> All right, guys. Um, as you guys can see, we have a bunch of Thors back here. Marvel Select, to be exact. Uh, we're going to compare them with all these Marvel Select Thors. I think I have all the Marvel Select Thors with the exception of one. How I ended up with so many Thors, I don't know, man. It's like a Thor in my side. <laughs> Get it? A Thor. A Thor in my side. <laughs> I'm here I'm here all night, folks. All right, so let's take a look at the mighty Thor. And this by far, probably one of my favorites. Maybe, well, actually, I like all the Thors back here. All the Thors back here, they have something to uh, offer. So this one, I believe, is the Disney Store exclusive. They re-released them, I think, maybe a couple of times. Um, one of the main reasons why I picked this guy up, well, obviously, just look at him. Just look at this mofo. Just look at him. Bring my camera up just a little bit. Uh, just so nicely designed. Oh, he's, he's a little cockeyed. He's got one eye that's going that way right there, but um, yeah, we can overlook that. Uh, he does come with an interchangeable head, which his eyes do look way better on, on this head sculpt right here, but he's not wearing this magnificent helmet, and there's no way I can take this helmet off to put onto this head, so we're just going to have to make do with this head. This head I don't really care too much for, so there is that. And he looks magnificent. So let's go over the detail, and then we'll take a look at his accessories. Uh, actually, we'll take a look at his, his accessories now, then we'll go over the detail. So he comes with the hammer, the Milnir, right there, looking magnificent. Comes with an interchangeable hand. I don't know why. He comes with two holding hands for the mill. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, two holding hands for the Milnir hammer. And then he comes with this amazing effect right here. Look at this, bro. This looks so fucking dope. So it's supposed to have the spinning effect where he spins the hammer. <laughs> That's just so dope. Such a great looking accessory, man. And let me see. Maybe it's this hand that holds it like that. I don't know, man. I wish they would have given us two holding hands to where he can actually hold his Milnir and hold this effect at the same time. But I feel like if he holds this effect, like, he can't really hold it above his head. Let me see how far. Yeah, maybe he can. But it would just kind of defeat the purpose. You know what I mean? Let me see. Yeah, so he would have to hold it like that, which is kind of weird. Let me see how far. Yeah, so this one this one must be for the this this right here. Him because yeah this doesn't look like it plugs into this hand i could be wrong oh yeah he can't hold it so yeah that just looks so it looks awesome but at the same time it just looks weird it can work yeah it can work what do you guys think yeah it can work um but i think this guy is just too freaking awesome i might i might give this hammer maybe to one of these guys back here Maybe to Dark Thor. Because there's just so much cool stuff going on with this guy. So let's check out his accessories, guys. Or excuse me, his uh, articulation. Um, this mother right here, yeah. So yeah, I probably would have to warm his hand up in order to get this in here. So I probably would, yeah. Because his hand is stiff as hell, man. 
So let's take a look at his accessories. We'll put the Milnir in his hand. We'll do some Thor comparisons right there. So let me bring this in. And the detail is just amazing. And if you guys are here with me, I just want to say thank you. I bought this guy loose, if you're wondering. So as far as like the detail, the dirty look, I don't know if that's a part of his whole scheme. Just an overall great, great looking piece. The cape is done so nicely, man. Thor cape. Can't go wrong with Thor cape. Dope. It's a hard rubber like most of these capes back there. Um, let's do a little measurement, and then I'm going to warm up his hand, and then we'll do some uh, Thor comparisons. Where the hell is my ult right here? All right, tape measure determines that he stands at 7 and 5 eighth tall. That's just between 7 and a half inches and 8 inches tall. So, yeah, he's a big guy. Big, big guy. All right, guys, let's warm up his hand, put his mute, put his hammer in his hand <laughs> so he can do some hammering, and then we'll do some Thor comparisons. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We are back by popular demand. Okay, so I got the uh, hammer into his hand. Man, he looks beautiful, bro. He looks really, really good. So as far as the articulation, I don't think I showed you guys the articulation arms. If you guys care to see the articulation arms, move up and down. No double jointed elbows because this was back in the day and plus it's marvel select marvel select doesn't really do el uh, double jointed elbows he does have the break at the bicep right there um break at the bicep or excuse me bend at the bicep not break oh yeah break okay yeah that makes sense no really waist swivel uh, no torso swivel even though he does have a torso break he just kind of he's just kind of neutral doesn't really budge um, as far as legs going out. His legs don't really go out that well. Let me see. Oh, no, yeah, his legs seem like they should go out, but they don't. I don't want to force it. He does kick back and forth. It does look like his legs can go out, but it's kind of hindered by his design. Um, knee bend, not so much. Great knee bend. This is a Marvel select. It ain't Marvel Legends, but as far as detail is concerned, I think way superior ankle breakage and there you guys have it all right guys let's do some comparisons oh let's show you some of the detail i don't know if i should guys show if i showed you some of the great detail of this the mighty thor the mighty mighty thor the cape looks magnificent really really great looking figure man can't wait to add him to my marvel select collection let's do some comparison so here is one of my favorites ragnarok thor he doesn't get the shine like he should he's missing a piece He's missing a piece right there. What the hell? I gotta look for that it's somewhere around here. But anyways, there's the Ragnarok Thor. Pay no attention to his missing piece right there. But there's a little bit of comparison. Let me bring my camera down just a little bit, guys. Great, great looking Thor. You can see the, you see the size comparison. Holy crap, man. It's weird because all these Thors are completely different sizes, even though I have... Let me see. So here's the Dark World Thor. Yeah, see the height comparison? Holy shit. Between the Ragnarok. Did did uh, Chris Hemsworth, did he shrink or something? So here's the Dark World Thor. Obviously, he's much more smaller. Both awesome figures. I really, really like all these figures. Really like all these Thors. I think I think I did a review of this guy. I'm pretty sure I did. It was It was a review of him and Black Widow. But the face sculpt, I think, is overall done really nicely. Here he is with, uh, what's this, Infinity War or Endgame? I can't remember. It's a, it's a good Thor. It's a, it's, a, it's a good face sculpt, I think, the best Chris Hemsworth face sculpt that we've gotten to date. But just look at the size comparison, bro. <laughs> oh, my gosh. There's the cape comparisons. Did you guys want to see the cape comparison? There's the cape comparison between him and Thor. Ragnarok. Thor, there's the cape right there. It's crazy, man. Uh, you know, I think my favorite by far is the uh, Thor Ragnarok movie. Well, actually, I do like Endgame. Yeah, Endgame Infinity War is pretty awesome. Here he is, the very, very first Marvel Select Thor. Still bigger. Way bigger. This guy looks like... Arnold Schwarzenegger, man, if he was Thor. 
Schwarzenegger could have played a good Thor, in my opinion. I think his hammer is bigger, too. Yeah, his hammer is bigger than, I think, a lot of the other figures. Let's see. Yeah, it's bigger, being that he's a big guy. Um, and then, just for the hell of it, we have Marvel Legends Thor right here. Break on a Marvel Legends figure. This is a great looking Thor, man. I think by far, I think my favorite Thor to date. And I'm not just saying that because he's brand new to my addition. Just an overall great, great looking figure, man. Great looking figure, bro. All right, let me give you my rating. On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest, I'm going to give him like an 8 point... I'm going to give him like an 8.4. For Thor. Four for Thor. 8.4 for Thor. Really great figure. Probably the best, I would have to say, the best Thor that we've gotten from Marvel Select by far. That includes the new and old as well, man. I think he's by far my favorite. He's definitely the biggest. This accessory is freaking dope right here. I might have to put it there hammer and somebody i might have to use this for some for somebody i don't know who man but uh maybe for this guy maybe for this door right here what do you think maybe for this door can he hold this <laughs> i don't know no all right guys there was my little review of mighty thor the mighty mighty thor i just want to thank you guys for watching and let me put him right here maybe i can use no uh, I just want to thank you guys for watching in. I will catch you guys in the next review. Peace out.